it is, what it is, YouTube, you know what it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Moose Squad, let's kick it. Okay, man, let's go ahead and give you that walkthrough. I hope you kind of like this walkthrough. I got some different kinds of lights going on tonight. Um, these are my party lights. I love these things. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so I'm uh, those scrams I'm going to have to take and wash. Um, but I will do that tonight. But I'm rocking with the Alto TS-315s. I have the Venmo... Uh, party disc uh party table and then these two lights right here are walmart specials i got those like 2015 and then i got the q8 um we're rocking with the hp brand new uh, 2023 and these up lights right here are the u kings uh this one right here needs to be moved in but these are the u king lights um they're battery powered U-King lights. Uh, I used to have eight of them, but I lost one on the side of the road, and then the other one doesn't work. I don't know what's wrong with that. I think I need to charge it, but um, I'm just letting them go any colors there is, because this is kind of like a disco anyway, a disco theme. Um, so it's all disco and funk, uh, and a couple of little bit of rock and roll tips that I'm gonna go ahead and play also. But, um, so that's pretty much what I got going. On this side of the rack, as you can see, the wires are not fixed. I will get them fixed um, accordingly, but everything else will get all nice and neat. Um, I am going to get a thicker board for down there in the bottom, so um, it will have more room. Um, that's pretty much what I got going. Um, I got to get these wires uh, brightened down for the event, and I will catch you all on the bright side. I'm, I'm glad you know you know, enjoyed the video and made it this far, uh, thus far. <laughs> Anyways, so there's a lot of things uh, that I wanted to uh, say about this one. Um, no sub. Reason behind that is um, what I was doing there is one of the reasons why I didn't so, so what I did was I did a cocktail hour, basically. Basically, it was just a cocktail hour. That's all it was. That cocktail hour was an hour and 30 minutes. Um, pretty much. So, in that hour and 30 minutes, I got the footage of the, of, of the gig. Um, 
I got 40 minutes of the gig. That's when people start trickling in. Uh, they got there around six ish, six o'clock. They're supposed to get there at five thirty. I start. I started at five thirty for the first half hour. There was nothing there, um, and then after that, people start trickling in. So the songs that I played for the first half hour, I gone because some of them were uh, bangers. So I replayed those songs a little later. There was just the servants there, but um, so. Pretty much that's how I did tonight. Uh, thing happened, and I'm going to mention this. This is going to be the, this is going to be what the topic is about tonight. How to deal with Karens. Now, y'all know in the previous video that I was at the Easter, the Easter video. I, I put a link up here about the Easter video. Okay, check out the Easter video there. Um, that's where I actually um, had a Karen come up to me and tell me it's 10 o'clock in the morning. On a Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. And you're going to tell me that I'm making too much noise. Not 10 p.m., yo. 10 a.m. But rewind. I love that rewind. So I was at another gig in the middle of the end of the pandemic. Well, it was in October in the pandemic. And I was at a party. And my, my it was 2021. It was October 2021. Uh, my son was still in the hospital. Um uh, I remember going to this gig. It was in Georgetown. And I was playing the music. It was 10, 15. And we were going until 11 o'clock. Well, that Karen called the police. The police come. I kid you not, this is what the police man told me. So you got two options. And the, the the party person was there. He introduced me to the police officer. The police officer was pretty cool about it. He said, you have two options. It's 10.05. End this party at 10.15, but turn it up. I like this song. So I played the song, and he's okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll we'll have a good night. And I turned the music off and we left. But that's that's the Karen biting you in the butt. And police in Georgetown are pretty strict and, and crazy. But that's what happened in that gig. Now, on reference to my potty mouth. Okay. Every once in a while. I try not to use the F-bomb as much as possible. The three, three don'ts of a DJ, don't F, don't N, and don't B. I don't have to explain those three words to you. In construction, I was the B word all day long. For the first four years of my apprenticeship, I was a B. When I became a journeyman, I became an ass. <laughs> because I start calling people B word. But that's because it was passed down to me on how to address people. Now, I put something up on the end of a video. I wasn't trying to offend nobody. I was being funny. If you didn't look at the video, you would see a dog sitting in the car. This this picture right here. The dog sitting in the car. That dog was like, we go to 7-Eleven. We're doing this gig at 7-Eleven in um, 
uh, was in Bryant, Texas. So we're in Bryant, Texas doing this, this oh, 7 and 11 opener. Two days in a row, we did the 7 and 11 opener. And we were there, and the second day at the end of the at the end of the gig, um, the guy gets out of the car, puts the gas in the car, puts the gas pump in the car, and then goes into the store. The dog, I saw the dog get into the driver's side of the car and sit down. So it looks like he was driving. <laughs> The owner comes out, and I was taking the picture. And the owner looked at me and he says, I got to get the fuck out. You see that? My motherfucking dog. That's what he told me. And he said, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> and it goes to his car. So that's the personal joke, and, and that's where that came from. It, I'm not doing anything to offend nobody. On my channel. Okay. One thing that I do want to note. Is if you go in. And look down. You'll see. That this content. Is not made for children. Period. I don't. I do kid parties all the time. But. This content on YouTube. Is not made for children. I don't have. I have it set for a reason like that. Because if I do say ass, if I do say shit, if I do say fuck, if I do say the B word, I will never say the N word. You will never hear that on this channel. But if that were the case, you'll never hear it. And I'm going to tell you that right now. If you're part of my squad, be respectful in the comments below. Be respectful to everybody in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like my video. Go ahead and share this video with somebody else because they might get this piece of information. And guess what? I didn't mean to offend nobody. And if I offended you because I said the F word, eh, damn. I didn't mean to. Peace. Subscribe! Caring is sharing. I like it! Comment! It moves on and moves and moves on and moves. It'll be party all day long. It moves on and moves and moves on and moves. What are you waiting for?